here to talk about the VH1 film Miracles Across 125th Street. I'd like to welcome Grammy award-winning music artist Chrisette Michelle to Sidewalks Entertainment. Hi Chrisette, thank you so much for joining us. Thank you so much for having me, happy to be here. Before we talk about Miracles Across 125th Street, let's talk a little bit about your music. It, how were you first discovered as a music artist and what do you remember most about how your life changed after signing your first record deal? Yeah, uh, I was discovered in college um, at an open mic night. Uh, from the open mic night, I went to the record label to audition for L.A. Reed at Def Jam Records in New York City. And um, they signed me on the spot. So that's kind of the beginning of it. Um, my wow. life changed. Yeah, that's how it kind of, it was, it was one of those typical movie stories, um, but in real life. Oh, and wow. so I think, yeah, it was cool. I think the biggest life change was that people expected me then immediately to kind of change, you know? And so it was like, you kept say, no, it's still me, Chrissy. It's still me, Chrissy. Um, but the, the, the 15 year span from then to now, I've learned that you don't have to ever prove that you are who you are. You just have to keep being and people will begin to see you shine through over time. So when fans started approaching you for autographs and asking for your picture, uh, what was that like? And did it take some time to get used to or are, are you used to it now? It was like um, meeting a lot of people and being really excited. Um, and and it never, it never, that never changed for me. I've always loved human beings. Um, and so it's always been very exciting. There were times though, when I was going through say personal things in my life, where I would always hope that people couldn't read my pain. Um, I think that's a big fear of most celebrities is I hope that I don't put what I'm going through on anybody else. So the challenge is, you know, uh, loving people even when you're hurting. So you've been singing since you were a kid. Uh, who were your favorite music artists growing up? Ella Fitzgerald, Billie Holiday, Sarah Vaughan. Um, I went to school for vocal jazz performance. And so jazz is my jam. Uh, it's what I was raised on. I grew up playing the saxophone and the piano. Uh, so, so those are my songs. Yeah. So it's Christmas time and Merry Early Christmas. Thank you. Uh, what songs bring back childhood memories of Christmas for you? Christmas time is here, the Christmas song. Um, anything Charlie Brown related. <laughs> oh my gosh, that's awesome. So have you ever thought about creating your own Christmas album? Yeah, so me and Kiara shared another uh, person in the movie. Uh, we did a song about five or six years ago, um, mm -hmm. Angels We Have Heard On High. Um, and that was so much fun, uh, but it's it's, it's such a serious thing to create a Christmas album to me because I feel like it lives forever. So I want it to yeah. be perfect. So it's taken me a while. It's taken me a while. I'm very much looking forward to that, especially after hearing that little sample right now. Um, <laughs> that was amazing. <laughs> so it's the holiday season, um, a time for family and tradition. What's the longest running Christmas tradition that your family does till this day? My brother being late to the Christmas tree till this day. He is always the last person to get there. And we always have to wait for him to open presents. So annoying. <laughs> That's you, a tradition. Is that like, is that a, you know, is that a brother thing? Because my brother does the same exact thing. He's late yeah. every single year. And till this day, there's like never a reason for it. Maybe it's like, um, it's like a role that every brother and a brother in every family has to play that at least one of them has to be late. <laughs> No, and, and he's mom's favorite. So he comes, one year he comes with holding a pecan pie in his hand, uncovered that he made, eating the pecans, like where are the presents? <laughs> We're like, boy, <laughs> <laughs> That is too funny. So when you were a kid, did your parents ever ask you to sing for your family get togethers? It was how I learned how to perform on stage was family barbecue. Oh, wow. There was always a keyboard there. There was always a microphone there. Um, and I was always asked to sing. And my family is musical, so they join in in harmony. Um, but that is who I am um, as a performer. I am Aunt Sandra's niece. I'm Lemuel's daughter. 
um, as a singer. Oh my gosh. So not only do you know how to sing, but your family also knows how to harmonize along with you as well. That, that is yeah. so beautiful. And if you can't, you're weird. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, you know, some say Christmas time is the time for miracles, be it an unlikely reunion or a stroke of luck. So have have you ever witnessed or experienced a, a holiday, holiday miracle, miracle before? To be very honest with you, getting this phone call from Nick was a holiday miracle for me. I had spent the entire pandemic kind of spending time on my Instagram live, kind of encouraging people. And so when he called me, he said, I saw you preaching on your Instagram. And I think you'd be really good for this movie. I thought it was a print call. I thought it was fake. I showed up at the studio and he was really there. And it was a dream come true. It was Christmas time and the holidays is my favorite. And I love to bring joy into people's lives. So this movie for me personally is a miracle. So VH1's Miracles Across 125th Street, written, directed, and starring Nick Cannon, uh, is about a rapper who wants to confront his past on Christmas Eve by going back to his family's church after battling a drug addiction. Uh, what caught your interest in being a part of this film? So when he comes back to his family, he comes back to me, one of his love interests from his past. And I know what it feels like to be in this music business and it kind of feels like it consumes you. But there's always those people that if you go, go back, if you, were, if, if, if you remind yourself of where you came from and you go back, you're always there with open arms. So uh, that is what really caught my eye. A lot of us have been spending time in the pandemic and we've been alone, we felt helpless, we felt without. But I hope that this, this movie brings people to Zoom call the, the relative that they haven't spoken to in a while or the person that they used to love but, but are afraid to show themselves now uh, because that's what the movie's about and it shows you that love doesn't die. What was your experience like making this movie? It was really cool. Um, I always say that watching Nick switch hats from director to actor to executive producer was fascinating. Um, I made sure to stay in the actress space because I didn't ever want to step on his toes, but watching him was fascinating. I, I couldn't believe how he would switch from giving me instruction, snapping right back into character, filming the scene and then moving on saying cut and then moving on to the next scene it was really cool to watch i really wow. enjoyed watching him well, wonderful wonderful work uh sadly we are out of time but thank you so much for taking the time to speak with me today i had a really great time talking to you everyone be sure to watch chrisette michelle in the vh1 film miracles across 125th street you take care chrisette you're so welcome it's a pleasure to be here thank you For more full-length celebrity interviews, visit SidewalksTV.com.